Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Joey Plays and Build and today we're going to play and build a habitat that contains a river ride using the monorail glitch. Now the monorail glitch is not a mod, both consoles and PC players can use it. Now how to use the monorail glitch? You need two monorails because if you only have one monorail, it's not going to work. And now show you by raising up the terrain as you can see the railing moves upward as you move the terrain so we are trying to avoid that on this build so yeah you need two monorails for this so two monorails and as you can see the railing doesn't move upward it stayed at the exact same level but the terrain, you could move it as much as you want. So, you could try this at home. You could try it in your console and see how it is. You could make some wonderful habitats. You could make a river ride, a submarine ride. All as you could please. And I also forgot to mention is that you can extend the monorail by moving the monorail just gently. Because there's a gap and hopefully right there there's a gap such as that curve can prevent your monorail from moving any further and it will ruin the glitch and we'll go back to your flat terrain and as you can see when you moved it it doesn't bother the glitch at all now today's video we are going to build a lovely river ride by using the monorail glitch and hopefully it could demonstrate here it can go through water so that is the build today hopefully you'll join me and we'll build this river ride okay so here's another trick that makes your terrain much faster is to add water as you can see right there so i lowered the terrain just a little bit so i can have an above level i don't want the level to be too high or too small and then i use the flat terrain to flatten the surface so i gotta add some water and with that i could expand the water so i can make a a nice terrain doesn't take so much time it's very fast and very simple and then i get started in building the length that i want for my habitat so it's pretty simple adding the water as i'm doing here just getting the level of the habitat that i want and when i'm satisfying with the level then i could delete the water and then you know just play it from there Now that I got the idea of how I want to set up my park, I think we're just going to have some fun today. Let's have a tunnel. And what better tunnels to have the Jurassic Park arches and the classic Jurassic Park walls. You know, something to test around a bit and maybe hopefully in the future we could build a nice tunnel exhibit.
Okay, so we got the entrance down. Let's start making the habitat. As you can see, I'm flattening the surface by using the water. And then I delete the remaining water that I don't really need. And I'm going to the terrain level and play around with the terrains. And we're just gonna go for there. Now, I haven't told you the dinosaur yet, just because I don't know what dinosaur to use at the time. But since I wanna keep the habitat simple, I want a dinosaur that does not need too much, and that is the Allura Titan. Another dinosaur I don't think I have featured, I think I featured one in one of my videos in my channel, but Allura Titan is a beautiful dinosaur, and they only need ground fiber, which is perfect for this type of habitat. And maybe another dinosaur or here and there who knows but yeah here i want a mountainous terrain with some of the luscious forests that the biosyn map has offered they have some of the nice rock textures i loved it and i'm using uh, you know the the darker rock textures really work so well in here and we're just gonna go from there you'll see demonstrate some of my my terrain levels the heightened levels i don't use too much forest because again it's a, a riot and i want our guests to see the dinosaurs but i a little bitch and patches of forest here and there and yeah oh and i really love the fog effects i'm hoping in the next update that the fog effects will be everywhere in the park will be a thing in the park but at the at the time the Biosyn map is one of my favorite maps because of that fog effects. So building in the habitat, I was stumped how I'm going to enclose the railing. I was thinking about it putting a gate, but I was so stumped. So I, I was thinking maybe we could just raise up the terrain until this accident happened. There it is. Yeah, I don't know if you see it. I seen it. But the rock can go through the monorail. So right then and there, I'm like, okay, we got ourselves an enclosure. I totally forgot. This is a glitch. This is not you know frontier didn't have nothing to do with it it's a glitch so you can do whatever you want the monorail will still keep going so yeah it was an accident i didn't even know that rocks can go through the railing but now i know and i know how to enclose the habitat now i don't use any fence i know you see in the beginning that i was using uh, the classic brick wall and that's because i was going to use a fence for this map but instead i want to keep it a natural habitat just using the rocks as a barricade best rocks in the game is the temperate number five the separate rock number five it's very long it covers so much but a little criticism here or there some of the rocks are are the same as in shape the mediterranean and the temperate number five are the same shape i'm hoping maybe in the future we get some different types of shapes of rocks maybe some flatter rocks or maybe we could have some the hitbox of the rocks can are not that as big so you could combine the rocks together you know we could build some pillars or some some mountains with the rocks or some walls you know what i mean um but till then yeah that's one criticism that i have for the rocks that they are the same and you know i'm hoping we could build some more unique stuff but some features now i know in the dlc the next one we're gonna have is the marine marine pack that we could add rocks on lagoon so you know we could make some lovely lagoon exhibits in um when dlc comes out so yeah um basically the whole build is just placing some decorated foliage the biggest the main foliage i'm using is the tega and the temperate the redwood trees those they, they just stand out a lot i want a dense forest so i'm using as much foliage as i 
possibly can but not too too much where the guests cannot see the dinosaurs because it's a monorail ride and the monorail ride is way too fast compared to the Jurassic Portor ride so you'll go in and go out and maybe you're gonna miss some dinosaurs here and there so well my strategy is that I'm gonna post as much Olora Titans in this exhibit as I can so you're not gonna miss any and I added their resources which is the ground fiber right next to the edge of the water so they have to if they're gonna go eat and drink they have to pop out from the forest and so they could drink but again you know the saying less is more right you know so um yeah this is my attempt at putting some of the rocks and the forest in good use and i also going to recommend stay away using the paint um environment instead of using the decorative instead but yeah this is it hopefully this inspired you to build a river ride yourself mate yours gonna be better than mine's anyways but yeah where this is the end of the video hope you like it subscribe like hopefully you'll come back to see some more oh and i added a hotel right there yeah why not why not um, but anyways i'll see you guys in the next build and thank you guys for your time thank you guys for watching